Elisha Oba is good. That's what people who don't have Netflix will say. Elisha Oba is bad. That's what people who don't have Netflix and also use Twitter would say. Elisha Oba is our first musical. That's what people who did not watch Hood Rush would say. That's our first musical. I choose to live by choice, not by chance. Miyamoto Musashi. Ever since Glamour Girls taught us that you might have the best of actors, but if the script is not good, no one else can save it. Not even my babe. I have not forgotten. Uh -huh. Stage play actors have always begged for an opportunity to be in the limelight, to tell us why they practice late in the night. But you see, I have never been a fan of stage plays. I only see them in church once in a while, and those are the times I'm sleeping. I say this as a man who thinks taking your babe to an art exhibition is doing the most for them. Those babes are usually depressed. Leave them alone, I'm telling you my G. There has been an influx of Yoruba movies on Netflix, and that's really good. We had a Nicola a movie so advanced that I did not know watching it in English made for a bad experience. I should have watched it in Yoruba. That way I would understand what the bed was talking about. Elisha Oba follows a man who has a really scary destiny. He is destined to help the king find peace in the afterlife. And to do that, he has to die. But the trick here is that before he leaves this earth, he is treated like a literal king. Because what he would be doing is the greatest honor for his community. So what does he do with this power? He milks it. Sleeping with multiple women. And he even went as far as stealing another man's wife. And no one can argue or challenge him. But this sacred act would be halted by the their colonizers seeing this as worthless and a waste of life. And yeah, that's the movie in a nutshell. He has his son that wasted four years being a doctor because he dies to maintain his dad's honor for no reason. But you see, all I just explained is false. For you to really understand Elisha Oba, you need to have Wikipedia on your left hand and watch the movie simultaneously. The play that this film is based on Death and the King's Horseman. This is from its Wikipedia page. Going into Elisha Oba without prior knowledge is something no one should do. Elisha Oba is 100% on point. Only for the intellectual minds. You see? <laughs> you see what I told you? This guy is an intellect. He used double full stops to relate to us. <laughs> you have to watch Elisha Oba twice to really understand what the movie is about. Everything said had a hidden meaning. Hmm? I don't want to travel with luggage when I leave. I would like to travel light. I would like to travel light when I leave. Most people won't get this, but he was talking about his sperm. <laughs> I'm an intellect. The characters are remarkably written to fit into the time this movie was set in. The white men are racist without using slurs. They are disrespectful but still laughing. They look down on everyone as they push their own propaganda and they respect no one's culture, even the ones close to them. The movie wants you to figure out the context without feeding it to you. Most people won't like this style because they want everything to be explained to them. But if I could understand this line, I would like to travel light. You too can understand this movie. No one said it's better than Damilola in this street. No be breasts at EC for Elisha Oba. Yes. <laughs> Every time you wanted to say this movie isn't for me, they brought you back with scenes like this. Was this intentional from them? Hell no. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. The good thing about this movie is that it doesn't spoon feed the viewers. The bad thing about the movie is that it doesn't spoon feed the viewers. You get what I mean? You have a large chunk of Nigerians that want new stories, but when it comes, they run. What's this? It's not for everyone, and I don't think everyone should relate to it. Like it for its nuance, but don't force yourself to love it just because you want to be poetic. It's a strange watch, honestly. I wasn't a fan of it, but I see the beauty in it. And that's understandable. The movie wasn't meant for me, and I'm fine with that. I guess I would leave with the most dramatic comment here. <laughs> Just like I said, Elisha Oba is meant for people with high IQ and people that really understand film and not movie. <laughs> Okay. People that watch Korean films and others won't like it because of the depth of the story, poetry, and masterclass. <laughs> you know the funny thing about this tweet? He initially said for high IQ that watch film and not movie, then he went ahead and said people who watch Korean films. <laughs> I love Twitter, man. <laughs>